Hey, what's happening everybody? Street here, PC Gamer and Shenanigans Extraordinaire. It's time to clean the intake on the, uh, the Accord, dude. So I've had a uh, Takeda intake um, for, God, it's probably working close to like 50 to 60,000 miles or something. And I, I get asked this question all the time by people like, how do you clean the filter? It's the Pro Dry, Pro Dry S, I think system. Um, there's no oil on it, so it's, it's all dry and a lot of people don't know how to clean it. So I've been noticing a little throttle response lag in my, in my car. And uh, the gas mileage has gone down a little bit. I mean, I got like 80,000 on that car now or something, but. Why does he keep throwing these videos in here? Because why not, dude? It's fun. I'm gonna go ahead and clean it and see how it does. I think it's gonna really be dirty and I'm gonna really have to get in there. So there isn't really any good instructional videos or anything um, online on how to do this and a lot of people ask. So I'm gonna go ahead and do all those people that solid and I'm gonna show you guys how to clean it. So stay tuned, it's really, really hot outside so I've been hiding inside because it's cold and I like it. <laughs> but I'm gonna go bear the warm elements. It's like 115 here today or something or uh, 46 degrees Celsius for for you guys in Canada and, and overseas. Um, so let's go ahead and we're gonna go outside. I'm gonna go get the filter off and I'll start showing you guys a little step-by-step -step on how to get this thing clean. All right, there's the intake there. Now we just gotta get the cone filter off and all you need is a flathead screwdriver. Just stick it on in that slot right there. Who else likes slots? Raise your hand. <laughs> all right, don't loosen the ring all the way. I've seen people just totally undo it. You don't need to. Just get it loose enough that you can slide it off. It slides off really easy, and then you just gotta kind of wiggle it out. All right, there it is, man. Free standing. And now I'm gonna show you the next step in cleaning it. All right, so what you wanna do is you wanna grab this thing and just bang it against something. <laughs> just. Just knock it, just knock all the things loose. There's gonna be grass in there, bees, flies, like all kinds of crap. You just keep knocking it into the side of something, just knock out all the gristle and uh, clean it up. It'll, it'll be good, man. You can see there's a bunch of dirt and dust and crap that's fallen out here already. Let's have a look see at this. That looks nice, that looks nice. Yeah, so there's just all kinds of shit, dude, that fell out of there. Did you guys ever think that you'd be taking a bath with me? <laughs> all right, guys, so the next step that we got to do here is we got our items of choice, the big orange bucket, which we won't advertise, and palm olive. We will advertise because, you know what? They make really good soap, so we're going to do that. <laughs> so let's go ahead and just get some dish soap because we're going to need some. And let's just dump it in there, man. Just get some dish soap in that bitch. Um, you don't need too much, because we're not gonna go crazy. I mean, the, the cone cone isn't really that big. So we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna get some water in there. Let's mix up this soap. Oh yeah, can you hear me breathing? Right there, right inside the mic hole. <laughs> and get this all rinsed off. Okay, we're gonna get just enough water but we can submerge this thing in it. And that is what we are about to do. I knocked out so much dirt of this thing, dude. Um, just just hitting it against the stoop there. And now we're gonna submerge it, and there it goes. Oh, into the darkness. All right, this has been soaking for probably 30 minutes or so, 25, 30 minutes. Now, another big part of cleaning your filter is the shake around in the water. You gotta shake it in the water. <laughs> so what I do is I just grab a hold of it kind of inside and just shake it you know it like rushes the water through it breaks up some of the stuff and just yeah gotta really get in there deep <laughs> gotta just get it all out see and then when you lift it like you can see the water just dump right out of it dude it's not collecting shit so I just shake it around a couple of times really try to loosen up as much dirt as I can the water is still very warm and it's very soapy. And we're gonna spray this thing out. I'm gonna make sure I spray it out good too. Get it like on as powerful as you can kind of thing. Wow, <laughs> wow. I'm spilling it on myself. All right, so you're basically gonna get it, you know, just spray it out, spray it all over the place. So I'm gonna pick it up in my hand here in a minute and just really spray the shit out of it because I can't do this with a camera. 
but that's what you want to do. So just spray out all the dirt. Give it a thorough rinsing, dude. Don't be scared to just rinse it for a little bit. And then, uh, and then after that, we'll we'll continue from there. All right, now that I got this thing all cleaned out, I wanted to go ahead and show you guys how dirty the water was before I dump it here. So, oh yeah, that's nasty. That's nasty. Sorry, sorry, Malia. Yeah, your shampoo and the and the street scum. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go ahead and get all that out. We're gonna rinse that down because that's dirty. Look at that, that all came from the filter. That's gnarly sauce. This thing should be running super nice now. All right, so basically what we wanna do now is we just wanna go stick it somewhere outside and let it dry off. All right, I got it in a good location. You want it to dry for at least 24 hours. I'm out here in like the open gazebo. I don't want it in direct sunlight because I feel like it's just gonna be too, too harsh on it. But sitting out here all day and drying will be great. All right, and that is how you clean your pro dry system, man. It's it's not hard at all. It just takes a little time. And trust me, when you guys slap it back on and it's done drying, it's gonna feel like a whole new car again, man. You forget how much more responsive it is when it's fucking like brand new and so clean. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope somebody got something out of that, learned something. Maybe you're questioning doing yours and you know this will help you walk through it. It's super easy and takes no time at all. All right guys, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. If this video helped you, please like it, you know, cause it just helps everybody on YouTube when you guys like videos. So just give it a like and uh, drop, a, drop a comment, man. Tell me, you know, what you think. Uh, if you went ahead and did yours and how it was, man. I can't wait to throw back on the ride and, and see how much more response I got. But I, I know it's a lot because I've done this before and it just, it feels so good having a fresh filter on there. All right, guys, thanks for watching. See you next time.